Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a quick video showing how the uh, drive shaft and the wheel bearing uh, assembly fit together and, and how I made this work. I've had a few questions asking if I can describe this in a bit more detail. Um, so I've just taken some photos uh, from the internet of uh, just basic drive shafts um, and wheel bearings to show what you would do in your situation because like I said, you don't have to take it from any specific vehicle, just make sure that all the components are from the same vehicle so the splines um, match up and, and such. So we're going to start with the drive shaft. What we need to do to the drive shaft to prepare it is we're going to make a cut on the um, uh, right it's uh, past the section here where it steps up. And this will be the, the, the mounting face against the bearing and that's when you tighten this bolt it's going to sandwich the bearing together and uh, it needs to be that way it's the way it's designed um, to run so you're going to need to leave this big piece here so that it will actually press on the back side of the bearing um, when the nuts tightened so you're going to cut it off here and uh, the part that's marked with the red X here you're going to throw away uh, you're not going to use that anymore so you'll be left with uh, basically a section like this um, and this is what we're going to work with next um, the next step is you're going to need to weld an extension on the end of this uh, shaft so basically you're only using this for the, the threads and the spline uh, and the fit basically for the bearing uh, in order to extend it further uh, to attach the pulley to the back side you're just going to use a steel shaft now this is going to have to be lined up and centered with this piece here. Um, probably the best way I'd recommend is uh, getting a machine shop or if you have a lathe to locate it in a lathe and get it welded that way. Um, but you can do the same thing with just a little bit of messing around and some V-blocks uh, basically to get it lined up yourself. It doesn't have to be perfect but it should be really good because it's uh, you know it is rotating and any bit of a out of alignment is going to cause uh, out of balance and some shaking and stuff so uh, basically that's the uh, the whole idea behind it so this is, would be the extension shaft that we're talking about um, this is your uh, the bearing assembly here and uh, this shaft gets welded on to the end of this uh, this kind of stub at the end here and uh, like you see there's the pulley that actually drives so this is what the wheel bearing will look like very similar um, this one has three holes here this is the mounting face around here and basically uh, this mounting face is going to go up against the plate here that you've prepared or already made in this example um, the one I made there were four mounting holes on the wheel bearing so I put four on this plate you would basically just whatever you have for the wheel bearing you put those holes to match that the center hole is just uh, basically clearance to allow this center hub here to fit through so that the mounting face face can go flush uh, with the plate um, and again this this plate actually if you're to look at it at the side view it's actually a piece of four inch angle is what I used uh, to uh, to do it. It's uh, really sturdy, didn't require any welding, just required uh, to cut it to length, cut the clearance hole, and then drill the uh, alignment holes. So this is the front side of the wheel bearing and your wheel studs extended here. Uh, so basically you would ex you would put the drive shaft uh, piece, the, the end stub with the extension, you would slide the front piece through so the splines are internal on the hub here already or the wheel bearing and then the nut would go on the other side like I was saying earlier to sandwich this together um, and basically that would be it once you have the uh, the wheel bearing mounted as we talked about here up against this face you would uh, slide the drive shaft through put the nut on and you're ready to go so I hope that explains a bit better of uh, how that whole assembly worked um, really wasn't too complicated you might need to modify it a bit depending on the pieces or the parts you get but um, 
basically that's the uh, that's the idea